In this example, we want to determine whether this series converges or diverges using the alternating series test. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at this series and first see uh, see if it is in, uh, alternating. Okay, so let's expand it out for first for the first few terms. So when n is one, okay, we're going to get minus one to the second power, okay, times one over n. So that's going to give us one in the first one. When n is two, okay, we're going to get minus one to the third power. That's going to give us a minus, and then one over two. When n is three, when n is three. Uh, that's going to give us minus 1 to the fourth power. That's going to give us a positive. So then one third. When n is 4, we're going to get minus 1 to the fifth. That's going to give us minus, and then 1 over 5. Okay, so this is definitely uh, alternating. And you can see that from here, that minus 1 to the n plus 1 gives us our alternating signs. Okay. All right, so there's two conditions that we have to check to see whether or not this series converges. Okay, for, and we're using the alternating series test here. So the first condition is that the, the limit of the nth term approaches zero, okay? The second condition is that the nth plus one term is less than or equal to the nth term. Okay, so we have to check both of these conditions. So both of these, so in other words, both of these, okay, or if one of these doesn't work, then the series doesn't converge, okay? So uh, for this series, the nth term is basically this one, okay, with this part. Okay, so that's gonna be the nth term. All right, so let's check the first one. Okay. So we're going to take the limit as n goes to infinity of 1 over n. So as n, as n gets larger and larger, then you get 1 over something getting larger and larger, this is going to go to 0. So therefore, okay, the first condition is met. Secondly, we need to show that the nth plus 1 term is less than or equal to the nth term. So then from here we get I'm going to get 1 over n plus 1, okay, so basically just substitute n plus 1 into, uh, or for n, okay. And then we want to see if that's less than or equal to 1 over n. So this can easily be verified, okay, we just, we can uh, multiply, okay, we can multiply um, n on both sides, and then do the same thing with n plus 1, and we end up with this, so this is going to give us 0 less than or equal to 1. So this shows us that it's true for all n, okay? And so the second condition is met, okay? So therefore, the series is, is converging, okay? Okay, so it converges by the alternating series test. 